Exercising muscle combats chronic inflammation on its own. This study is awesome. I can't wait to go through this briefly with you and give you the highlights and tell you why it's so important if you have inflammatory arthritis. Before I do, a quick thank you to Jack on our mailing list and also to Susie, who's a member of Rheumatoid Support, for both sending me this article at the same time. I get so excited with this information because it's so useful and so reaffirming of what we all know intuitively and what many of us have experienced experimentally and in practice since having this inflammatory condition ourselves. Exercise is crucial. It is absolutely essential to combat inflammation because as this study points out, we know that chronic inflammatory diseases induce muscle atrophy. Okay, so we need to work against the tide. With inflammatory arthritis, we don't just have inflammation in the sign of synovium and in the joint capsule. The inflammation tends to spread out and affect the soft tissue, the connective tissue around the joint. And when that happens, the joint becomes more tender and more sensitive and we use it even less. I experienced this awfully um, uh, with my left elbow and I got to the point where I couldn't actually use the left elbow. It had such a small range of motion. I had to have a complete synovectomy after just three years of rheumatoid arthritis. So that was a disaster. So learning that, I then made sure that I did everything possible with my right elbow to avoid ending up in the surgical room, which the surgeon said I would 10 years ago. Well, that did not happen, but it has been an effort to get inflammation out of the right elbow and out of other joints and exercising and diet has been two of the foundational pillars of my approach and what I teach. And so in this article, the engineers at Duke University demonstrated that human muscle has the innate ability to ward off the damaging effects of chronic inflammation when exercised. So exercise doesn't just allow us to build up our antioxidant enzymes to become more resilient to the negative impacts of free radical damage that comes from the autoimmune engagement itself and from our diet and from environmental toxins and from simply metabolizing food, um, which uh, is an, an aging process in itself. And so we need to also take into account the, the benefits of actually reducing inflammation directly that is demonstrated by this study. The study actually used artificially grown muscle it's quite a fascinating approach, as they describe here, a first of its kind platform of engineered human muscle. And so what they've demonstrated is that that engineered muscle works directly against the inflammatory cytokines that are associated um, uh, with autoimmune style inflammation. Um, they noticed directly that IFN gamma which has long been recognized as a signatory uh, pro-inflammatory cytokine that plays a central role in inflammation and autoimmune diseases is combated by exercised muscle. So in practice, what should we do? Well, I find what's highly effective for the connective tissue, we're talking about tendons especially, and the associated tendonitis or inflammation of the tendons that come from an inflamed joint, that activating them through squeezing a uh, the squeezing those tendons, whether it be contracting or a flexion, like in an elbow joint, or contracting them in an extension, which would be to stick with the elbow example to straighten out the arm as far as it can, and then without loading it, give it a very good squeeze. So. Just those basic kind of uh, guidelines are used to try and engage that soft tissue. And then as we get more and more comfortable with where our body 
responds to those kind of simple tests, then we can start loading the uh, um, uh, those connective tissues a little more to build more and more strength to reduce the uh, brittleness and the weakness of those inflamed soft tissues. So get active and uh, build more strength because strength defeats inflammation. If you're looking for a program that actually teaches you how to do the exercises that can engage the soft tissue safely around the joints without aggravating the existing inflammation and also handle all the dietary and other aspects of rheumatoid or inflammatory arthritis conditions, head over to rheumatoidsolutions.com. And in the meantime, if you like this video, you found it helpful, give us a like and a comment and let me know what you'd like to learn about in future videos and I will endeavor to cover those topics in the weeks ahead. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and thanks for watching.